In the distant echoes of the past, when television screens were a gateway to dreams and adventures, a luminary emerged that would forever engrave itself upon the canvas of pop culture history. Picture yourself in that moment, a time capsule suspended between nostalgia and curiosity, as the flickering black and white images of 1955 introduced you to the captivating realm of Cheyenne. Perhaps it was a lazy Sunday afternoon or a late night rendezvous with the past. Whenever it happened, the impact remains vivid. The rugged landscapes, the resonant twang of gunshots, and the allure of the untamed West fused to ignite an unquenchable fascination within you. Remember that scene, the one that stayed with you long after the credits rolled. Maybe it was Cheyenne Body's unwavering resolve in the face of danger, or a fleeting connection that tugged at the strings of your own aspirations. It could have been a poignant exchange, a daring standoff, or a quiet moment beneath the starlit sky. Those are the tendrils of a show that transcended its era, etching its name in the hearts of those who stumbled upon its magic. As we traverse through the corridors of time, let's peel back the layers and uncover the hidden gems that adorned this iconic series. Random facts that add hues to the canvas, anecdotes that breathe life into the characters, and tidbits that remind us of the intricate craftsmanship that went into creating a legend. So, fasten your seatbelt for this journey down memory lane as we conjure the spirits of yesteryears and revive the essence of Cheyenne. A show that was more than a mere TV series, it was an expedition into the realms of the Wild West, a rendezvous with destiny, and a rendezvous with your own past. Get ready, because the adventure is about to unfold. And now, without further ado, let's set the stage and delve into the captivating random facts about Cheyenne. It's time to unearth the treasures hidden beneath the dust of time, rekindling the fire of curiosity that once sparked when Cheyenne Bodhi first galloped onto your screen. The year 1955 marked a turning point in television history as Warner Brothers, a major Hollywood film studio, took a groundbreaking step into the realm of original TV programming. Amidst this pivotal moment emerged Cheyenne the first original television series produced by Warner Brothers. While other studios had ventured into TV, their programming often comprised repurposed content from other media. Cheyenne broke the mold, paving the way for the studio's commitment to the small screen. Clint Walker, the charismatic lead of Cheyenne, often had fans' hearts racing as he bared his hairy, muscular chest in many episodes. But intriguingly, in a curious turn of events, Walker's shirt remained steadfastly on during the show's final season. All 13 episodes of the seventh season, the series Swan Song, saw Walker's character, Cheyenne Bodie, keeping his shirt buttoned up, leaving viewers to wonder about the enigma behind this decision. Beyond the screen, a fascinating parallel existed between Cheyenne's fictional law enforcement roles and Walker's own life. On the show, Cheyenne frequently assumed temporary law enforcement positions, displaying a knack for justice. Intriguingly, prior to his acting career, Clint Walker had served as a deputy sheriff, lending an authentic touch to the roles he portrayed. In the annals of television history, Cheyenne stands as more than just a Western series. It symbolizes a studio's bold leap into original TV content and showcases the interplay between fiction and reality. As the series captured hearts and headlines alike, it became a testament to the era's evolving entertainment landscape. A Hollywood studio's venture into TV and Clint Walker's dual life as both law enforcer and leading man converged in the iconic show, leaving an indelible mark on television's golden age. In a notable twist during its run, the 1955 TV series Cheyenne transformed into The Cheyenne Show, a groundbreaking programming experiment of its time. This unique format saw Cheyenne, portrayed by the charismatic Clint Walker, sharing the spotlight with two other titular characters, Sugarfoot and Bronco. The trio took turns captivating audiences on a rotating weekly basis, pioneering a new era of television scheduling. Amidst the backdrop of the Wild West, Cheyenne was not without its quirks. A reflection of its era, the series featured a number of white actors portraying Native American characters, a common practice in Western television shows and movies during that period. This cultural phenomenon, while prevalent in its time, adds a layer of historical complexity to the show's portrayal of the American frontier. Initially joined by a sidekick named Smitty, portrayed by L.Q. Jones, Cheyenne's journey took an unexpected turn after just three episodes. The series veered down a solitary path, 
propelling its titular character into a solo adventure that would define the show's essence. The decision to part ways with Smitty paved the way for Cheyenne to chart his own course through the rugged landscapes and dramatic narratives that captivated viewers. Cheyenne remains a touchstone of the Western television genre, leaving its mark not only for its gripping stories, but also for its evolutionary approach to programming. As the dust settles on the legacy of this show, it serves as a time capsule of the television landscape of the mid-20th century, where experimentation and tradition collided in a frontier of entertainment. A glimpse into the TV classic Cheyenne, Bonanza crossovers shine amidst the golden era of television. The 1955 series Cheyenne blazed a trail of Western excitement in star-studded appearances. While the titular character Cheyenne Bodie, portrayed by Clint Walker, captured hearts as a rugged drifter, it was the unexpected connections with another iconic show that added a layer of intrigue. In a twist of fate, actor Cheyenne Jackson found himself named after the very show that resonated with audiences nationwide. A serendipitous homage, Jackson's name echoed the legacy of the strong and principled character, adding a layer of connection that bridged generations. Yet, it wasn't just names that linked Cheyenne to other TV classics. The ensemble of Bonanza, another beloved series of the era, found a shared stage on two distinct episodes of Cheyenne. Michael Landon, in his early acting days, left an indelible mark through his appearances in Decision and White Warrior. Dan Blocker's imposing presence graced land beyond the law and noose at noon. Lorne Green, who would later rise to fame as Ben Cartwright, lent his talent to gold, glory in Custer, prelude in gold, glory in Custer, requiem. The quartet's connection, however, remained incomplete without the fourth member, Pernell Roberts, who intriguingly didn't cross paths with Cheyenne. Amidst this crossover, Ray Teal, destined to become Sheriff Roy Coffey in Bonanza, stood alongside Landon in the Decision episode, further intertwining the fates of these two renowned shows. While these connections created ripples in the fabric of television history, Cheyenne wasn't shy to showcase the multifaceted talents of its own stars. Clint Walker's resonant baritone voice found an unexpected stage in the episode The Durango Brothers, where he serenaded fans with a selection of inspirational songs. This added a layer of depth to the show, revealing the diverse skills of its lead actor beyond the rugged exterior. As the annals of television history continue to preserve the legacy of Cheyenne, these unexpected ties and revelations remind us that the world behind the screen is just as captivating as the stories they tell. A tale of namesakes and crossovers, Cheyenne stands as a testament to the golden era of television, where connections were forged and talents shone. Cheyenne, a lone drifter's journey to the small screen in the annals of television history, the year 1955 saw the emergence of a Western series that would captivate audiences across the nation, Cheyenne. Amidst the backdrop of rugged landscapes and sweeping frontier vistas, the show's titular character, Cheyenne Bodie, rode his way into the hearts of viewers. Yet, the evolution of this iconic series was not without its twists and turns, including the unexpected departure of a key character and a transformation that shifted the show's tone. Initially poised to be a fixture in every episode of the first season, the recurring character of Smitty, a light-hearted companion to Cheyenne, met an abrupt end after just three episodes. The abruptness of this departure was a response to criticism from critics and sponsors, notably chemical giant Monsanto, who expressed concerns that Smitty's presence overly skewed the show towards a younger audience. In the wake of this feedback, a review in Variety characterized the series as almost strictly kiddie o fair casting a shadow on its potential. The visionary behind the shift in course was none other than producer Roy Huggins. Entrusted with the task of revitalizing the show's direction, Huggins steered Cheyenne into new territory. One of his first decisions was to drop Smitty, transforming the eponymous character into a laconic and enigmatic lone drifter. This marked a turning point for the series, trading youthful exuberance for a more mature, complex portrayal that resonated with a broader audience. Amidst this metamorphosis, one element of Cheyenne's identity remained a constant, his name. Born from tragedy, Cheyenne's moniker is steeped in the history of the Cheyenne Indians, who were responsible for the loss of his parents. A remarkable twist of fate saw the very same tribe take him in and raise him, imprinting upon him a unique cultural fusion that would define his character's essence. As the dust settles on the legacy of Cheyenne, the series stands as a testament to the ever-evolving nature of television storytelling. 
The departure of Smitty and the subsequent transformation of Cheyenne himself reflect the dynamic interplay between audience expectations and creative vision, a dance that continues to shape the landscape of television to this day. As we bid adieu to our journey through the captivating world of the 1955 TV series Cheyenne, the dust settles on memories that have woven themselves into the tapestry of our minds. The rugged landscapes, the thundering hoofbeats, and the echo of gunshots have all become a part of our own narrative. As we reflect upon the tales of adventure and heroism, let us not forget the resonating power of these stories in our own lives. Cheyenne wasn't just a show, it was a trailblazer that left its mark on television history. It beckoned us to explore the untamed West alongside a charismatic hero, and in doing so, it ignited the flames of imagination and curiosity within us. As we consider the moments that stirred our hearts and the characters who felt like old friends, we are reminded of the timeless bond between storyteller and audience. Now, I invite you, dear reader, to step into your own personal time machine and journey back to those evenings when the screen came alive with tales of courage and camaraderie. What resonated with you? Was it the indomitable spirit of Cheyenne Bodhi himself? or perhaps the thrilling escapades that kept you on the edge of your seat. Share your cherished memories and reflections, for they are the embers that keep the fire of this classic series burning brightly. So, as we close this chapter on Cheyenne, let us remember that the stories we've consumed are not merely confined to the screen. They've become a part of who we are. Thank you for embarking on this nostalgic ride with us. Your time and interest are truly appreciated. Warm regards and fond memories.